Well, Jono here from Fitness Education Online. I want to do a quick live video with a boot camp workout. Um, first, let me know how my sound is. It's just literally a lottery. I use the same phone, the same microphone, the same thing every single week, and like half the time the sound sounds good, half the time it sounds rubbish. So comment below, let me know, is the sound good or bad? Now, the workout I want to cover today is the participant move. I've got it written here on the board. Uh, so usual deal, if you're watching the video, just jump on and hit the like button. And if you want the written description, just type a written description down below. Now, let me explain this workout. It's like a combination of a circuit and an AMRAP. Now, I usually hate both of those two workouts. I find circuits pretty boring, I find AMRAP pretty boring, but if you throw them together and have a bit of fun with it, it, it can actually be quite fun. So here's the workout I've got here, okay? It's basically two 12-minute AMRAPs. You can see it on either side of my tricep, right? One on, on this side here, one on this side here. I wish I did a tricep workout this morning, but that's okay. Um, basically, the way it works, I've got four different exercises and then a movement, okay? So, so let's say, for example, you've got 15 people in your group. You'd say, right, three people go bodyweight push-ups, three people go kettlebell swings, three people bodyweight squats, three people TRX row, and then three people, let's just call the move walking lunges to a cone and back, okay? Three on each station. Is everyone with me so far? Just comment yes if you're with me. And it's a 12 minute AMRAP. So you'd repeat that for 12 minutes, okay? Now you might be thinking, well, hold on Jono, how much reps on each thing? Or is it time on each thing? How does it work? Well, it actually works on the participant doing the movement. So what you would say to everyone is, hey, you just keep doing your exercise there, All right? Keep doing your exercise. What's gonna happen when the person that's finished doing their walking lunges comes back to the station, they'll tap the person doing push-ups and then they'll do push-ups. The person doing push-ups goes and taps the person doing kettlebell swings. The person doing kettlebell swings taps the person holding a bodyweight squat. That person taps the person doing a TRX row, that person does the lunges, then it repeats, okay? Does that make sense? It's hard to explain without people actually doing it, but does that make sense where it's like, you've got your exercises, you've got people split up into stations, it's not you do a minute or you do 20 reps or anything. You keep going till someone taps you on the back and the timer is that person down the bottom. Okay, comment below and let me know if that makes sense. I'll explain a little bit more and why it's important in a sec, but I wanna just make sure that part there makes sense. And then what you'd simply do, you have a little break and then you do the same thing, but then you would use different exercises. Now it's a body weight side plank, it's kettlebell hip thrusters, it's body weight lunges, it's TRX triceps, and maybe that's a run or a bear crawl or whatever it may be, okay? I'll explain some of the benefits in a sec, uh, but there's theory. Comment yes and let me know. And if you want the written description, write written description down there. The reason why this works quite well is, is a couple different things. Number one, the advantage to it is there's more participant interaction. You know how like if I'm just doing a circuit, I'm pretty much just working on my own. Even if I've got two or three other people there, I'm just sort of working with those two or three other people. But in this system here, there's always gonna be someone behind me that's tapping me on the back and being like, Jono, well done, now move on to the next station. So I'm gonna get a lot friendlier with that person that's always tapping me and telling me to go on to the next time, all right? Same thing with the person in front of me. I'm gonna get a lot friendlier with that person there, because also beforehand you'll say, hey, make sure you know the person's name, introduce yourself, say their name before you move them on. It's just a really good, because then I'll get friendly with that person in front of me, all right? Uh, and that's the same with everyone there. And if you're doing that nonstop for 12 minutes, I'm gonna get close with that person, I'm gonna get close with that person. And then on your second AMRAP, you might even change the, the partners around a bit, so you meet someone different. So it's just a, re it's, like, it's basically a circuit or an AMRAP anyway, there's a little bit of variety in there, a little bit of unpredictability in there because you're not just going for a minute or reps. But my favorite part to it is it just forces you to engage with other people, okay? Does that make sense? Comment below and let me know. Uh, but anyway, that's today's workout. If you liked it, just hit like. If you want the written description, comment written description down below. Um, and anyone heading to Fitex in Christchurch, I'm actually, Fitex Light, sorry, uh, I'm actually heading down there as well. So I'll see you down there next week. So that's it for today's episode. I would love to invite you into the Fitness Education Online Community Facebook group if you're not in there already. It's a free Facebook group. There's thousands of trainers in there. We all share tips and ideas. Everyone's super supportive. And that's really what we do at Fitness Education Online. So uh, I'll see you in there.